my name is Leonardo Medina. This is an instructional video for three different types of stretches. The first stretch will be a dynamic stretch. The second will be a passive stretch. And then the third will be a PNF stretch. So the first stretch will be a dynamic stretch. Um, it's going to be a Spider-Man Spider climb with the reach. So I'll have my partner come in right now. <clears throat> I'm going to tell my partner to lay down flat on their stomach. And the starting position for the Spider-Man climb with the reach will be to get up in a push-up position. So with the push-up position, make sure that your partner has their arms um, shoulder width apart, their knees off the ground. So in some cases, most people will arch their back. Um, Helpful tool to help them not arch as much is have their head look forward. So then once you look forward too, now we're going to go work in our lower body. So this stretch is for our hips. So right now we're going to work on the right side. So with your right leg, with your right foot, you're going to put it as close as you can to your right hand. Okay. So now we've done the Spider-Man climb. Now we're going to reach. So with our right hand, our right arm, you're going to reach towards the inside of your body. Make sure you don't let, let it flat on the ground, have it in the air still, and then go back and reach towards the right side in the air. And this one we're going to do 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, good. Okay, and then you can reset in the starting position. Now we're going to do the opposite side. So, same thing again. Knees will be off the ground. Okay, with our right foot, we're going to reach towards our left hand. Right foot. Our left foot, sorry. Left foot. Okay, now, same hand, left hand, we're going to reach towards the inside of our body. Make sure it's not on the ground. It's in the air. Okay, now we're going to reach across and raise it in the air. 10 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right, good. So with that stretch, that stretch was for our hips. Now we're going to do, and that was the dynamic stretch. Um, now we're going to do the passive stretch, which is going to consist of a figure four. So right now we're going to have my, I'm going to have my partner lay down flat on their back. Okay, legs can be flat out on the ground. One way to test, it's very important that you're relaxed. So one way to test is to see if they're tight or not, they should be loose, they should be breathing in. And you don't want to do this too high, you want to do it somewhat low so it doesn't scare them or hurt them. So you're going to shake the leg and then if they're relaxed, they should just fall to the ground. So now that they're relaxed, I'm going to have you put your feet, you're going to bend your knees towards your body, have your feet flat on the ground. Okay. Um, so for them to know which foot I'm working on, I'm going to tell them. So we're going to, I'm going to raise your left leg and I'm put it towards on your right knee. So if the ankle should be resting on the on the opposite knee. Now I'm gonna raise the planted foot. I'm gonna place it on my chest, and we're gonna and I'm gonna push towards you. Let me know when you feel it. Right there. Okay, they feel it right there. We're gonna do the stretch for ten seconds as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Can you tell me where you felt that stretch? Perfect. They should feel the stretch in their glutes. And now we're going to do the opposite side. Same thing again. 10 seconds. I'm going to raise your left ankle, place it on your, I mean, right ankle, place it on your left knee. I'm going to let, raise your left foot. I'm going to place it on my chest. And then I'm going to push and see where you tell me where you feel comfortable. Okay. Right here is where they feel comfortable in their limit. And we're going to hold for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Can you tell me where you felt it? In the same area. So they felt it in the same area uh, compared to the last stretch. So that was the dynamic. That was not the dynamic stretch. That was the passive stretch, the figure four. And now we're gonna do the PNF stretch for the chest. So can you come up? So some people might have knee problems or just they'll 
find uncomfort discomfort to having any issues of lice in your knee on hard surfaces. So you can use a pillow, um, another like just hold the the yoga mat, and you can just have them sit down. So you're gonna sit with your knees onto the onto the mat. Okay, and right now you're gonna place your foot kind of separate, a little bit further apart. Okay, and then you're gonna sit down towards your feet. So right now, I'm gonna have you raise your hands. You're gonna place them on the back of your head. You can have them interlocked. And now we're gonna do the chest. So usually we can use a foam roller, but right now we're gonna use just the body to assist. So I'm gonna place my body towards their back. And now we're gonna do a PNF stretch. So we're gonna do this three times for five seconds. First time is gonna be for five seconds. Let me know when you feel it. So they feel it right here. We're gonna hold for five seconds. One. Two, three, four, five, and we're gonna relax and just let it go back. So the next time we should increase the range of motion, so it should be further than the first time. And we're gonna do it again for five seconds. Let me know when you feel it again. Okay, they feel it right here, so we're gonna hold for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and we're gonna go back. Very important that you have your partner breathing in and out during the whole session. Okay, we're gonna do our last one, and we're gonna do it even further. Again, for five seconds, let me know where you feel it. Okay, they feel it right here, so we're gonna do the last five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. All right, perfect. So, that last one that we performed was a PNF stretch for the chest. We did that one for five seconds, um, three different times. First time was a little bit less than the last time. Um, each time that we do it, it should increase the range of motion. The one before the PNF stretch, we did the passive stretch, which was a figure four stretch. We did it once for each leg, 10 seconds. Um, and then the first one that we started off with was a dynamic stretch called the Spider-Man climb with the reach. We did that one, holding it for um, five to 10 seconds. And all of that was an instructional video of three different types of stretches.